Hey crafters and stashers, welcome to another episode of the Craft Stash Podcast. I'm your host, Kim. It's a rainy day. Hey guys, just a quick, quick update. Not necessarily even an episode to be titled. I'm just playing around with my camera, trying to find the best ways to use the wonderful powers of DSLR um, and autofocus to kind of get a little bit closer and get a little bit more intimate (laughs) with crafting. So I'm going to show you a little bit of the way I spin on my Hansen mini spinner. So this is going to be just a really quick video and it's not necessarily a tutorial. What I like to say is it's not necessarily educational, it's maybe informational and hopefully inspirational. Um, And another quick word is the spinning that I do is going to be a combination of inchworm, modified long draw, (laughs) um, short forward draw and short backward draw um, only because I don't necessarily spin just one way on any given piece of fiber and also because as I was playing around with the camera trying to get angles um, my hands were either closer than they would normally be to the fiber Um, or just in kind of weird figures, kind of over the camera, under the camera, that kind of thing. So um, this isn't the way I 100% spin, but it's just kind of a quick way uh, or a quick look at spinning um, that maybe we haven't seen on the internets before. Yeah, right. I'm sure we have, but you know what I'm trying to say. So let's take a quick look at my wheel. This is my Hansen mini spinner, which I purchased, um, gosh, maybe two years ago at a fiber festival. I can't remember if it was Maryland Sheep and Wool or Rhinebeck. It was probably Rhinebeck. Um, and it's just their regular Hansen mini spinner, nothing special. The only special thing about it is it has the um, woolly winder bobbin instead of the manual bobbin. So as I'm spinning, I don't necessarily have to move my rings around. The wheel does it for me. And I am spinning what remains of this lovely, lovely loop fiber. Um, This is a hand blended fiber from Stephanie of Loop. And it's a continuous roving, so it comes in this really big ball that you kind of just pull from the middle. It took me a couple of, it took me actually a couple of years to figure out how to spin that fiber on this wheel just because um, these wheels function much like regular spinning wheels, only they are powered, right? So you don't have to necessarily treadle with your feet or any other means. But that also means like you feel like a slight lack of control. Um, If you're a really good spinner, you won't feel that at all. But for me, um, it just took a while to kind of get used to the really slipperiness of this particular preparation of fiber with the pull of this particular spinning wheel. Um, But thanks to a couple of friends, I figured it out. I basically uh, increased my tension and slowed down my my speed, my uptake speed greatly. And I tried to do as much of a long draw as possible, hence the modified long draw. Normally I spin inchworm. So between all of that, um, this is, believe it or not, three and a half ounces almost of fiber. It's a really tight, (laughs) tightly spun bat um, because normally you know, the, the, the bobbin will be way fuller with fiber or way fuller with fiber, but we'll see how it goes.
Okay, so hopefully that was fun. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the duty-free or rights-free, copyright-free music. <laughs> um, I'm trying to make it so that most people can see the videos. I noticed that when I use um, commercial music, YouTube doesn't want everyone to see it. So hopefully you were able to see it, whether you're on your iPhone, iPad, Android, or on some sort of desktop. Um, yeah, send me any questions. Comments are usually disabled in the YouTube videos just because I don't need all that mess. <laughs> Um, if you guys want to reach out to me, hopefully you know where you can find me. I'm on Ravelry. I'm on Instagram. And I'm also on my own website on creoli.com slash craftstash. So hit me up. Let me know what you thought. And um, let's keep getting crafty. In the meantime, if you can't craft it, stash it. Cheers!